and it kind of felt complete then and we we uh, we did it and and put it out and it's done quite well yeah a lot i've had a lot of response for actually it won the video award of the year for la la music award this year like mm-hmm. yeah this year nice and nice. it's done real good but um, i'm i'm just Go ahead. Go ahead. You can talk with your show. <laughs> no, heaven or hell. That's the new one we want to talk about tonight that we have on the docket today. And I will play that as yes, soon as sir. we get done here. A little more Margie Singleton for everybody. Her new release. When is actually that going to be coming out? Well, I'm in the process of trying to do it right now. We're, we've got a video on it that's being edited, and, and you know how getting that last minute stuff it done. But uh, I'm sending it out to to all the 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 media now. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I I send it to you, and uh, I guess that's how you want it on MP3, right? Yeah, that's fine. Or a wave, but MP3, either one works. You know, to load them up. Yeah, they all work great. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Um, so we're I'm in the process of doing that now. Uh, it's not like it used to be. It used to be we. Uh, my friend Merle Kilgore, when we were getting uh, Laura, what's he got that I ain't got ready to to mail out and send to the st- radio stations? Right. We had we had to get forty fives, acetates. You know, they were records then, and, and and you had to put them in the little shop, then put them in the package between cardboard, stick them in an envelope, and most of the time lick the thing to seal it up put the stamps on there and mail it out and and now you can just uh just have it on your phone or on your computer and push a button and they got it isn't that incredible yeah you know we we just put this together this afternoon i i caught you I and says, what are you doing this week and let's chat and i know you got your new song coming out and you sent it to me in five minutes and i had it up and and away we go and that's yeah. an interesting t- thought the difference it's today it's wonderful it's, it's one know. yeah but the difference between the whole industry i mean what you oh, have goodness. seen it's like what you have seen in your whole and, life uh, compared to the changes i can't keep up with it tom my my did you ever see the video of me uh lost in cyberspace actually i did tonight because i was getting those old songs off of youtube <laughs> i can convert i did see it and i clicked it yes i did yeah <laughs> Well, I, you can play it too. It's it's out, you know. It's not just on video. It, okay. It's, it's, uh, it's on there. The YouTube. Uh, it, it's funny because that's what that's me. I, I had that idea lost in cyberspace because I am, and and we just did it as a funny thing. My my adopted music son Joe Rucker came over, and I was trying to write that song. I said, I'm writing this song, Lost in Cyberspace. And he said, oh, wow, what a great idea. I said, yeah, for an old lady that's trying to get in the computer age, it's almost impossible. So he said, I said, will you help me write it? And he's 40, early 40s, and he said, yeah, but we didn't even one of us know all the lingo, you know, the hashtags and all that stuff. So we got this uh, young lady that was, uh, she's... uh, was Devin O'Day's assistant, uh, Sam Rochford. Uh, Devin is, uh, has the uh, afternoon show at WSM radio. But anyway, uh, we got Sam out to, to throw in those words, and, and we did it, and it turned out real good. We got 11,000 hits on it the first week. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It was it was really really funny. Uh, you have to play that for your audience. Sometimes it's it's quite funny, but that's me the whole thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, about my my heaven or hell song. You did ask me about that, and I got off track. Oh, that's um, bad. I'm always it, off track. My, <laughs> me ahead. too. I'm a little. Li- I'm always just a little bit to, <laughs> to the left of the track. It's <laughs> all oh, great. But anyway, uh, my associate pastor, Brother Kent Riddle, called me a couple of months ago and 
said that he God had put upon his heart to preach a revival about hell because you know a lot of people these days don't even think it's real because they said God's not going to do that to you he's a loving God true he is but he does chastise that don't obey and I said well I, I would that's quite a feat that's quite an honor I don't know if I'm worthy of that whether God will give it to me or not but you know I asked the Lord I said this is quite a quite a big deal for me to have this and I, uh, please help me and um, for those of your listeners and you I know you believe in the Lord and and uh, uh, this song just absolutely was like it was there I didn't sit down to write a song I you sometimes sit down with my guitar and I just start singing words and, and then I get get an idea coming in this one I just sat down and started singing the song and writing it down on paper, putting it on my phone so I wouldn't lose it. And it was there. It was God-given. It's his words. And your listeners, some of them might say it's too graphic, which I think you heard it. And it is very descriptive of hell. But it's not my words. I want everybody to know this. It isn't my words. It's God's words. He's just using me as an in- instrument to get it heard and I'm so blessed to have that privilege and I'm going to do everything in the world that I can do to get it heard by people who need to hear it and I thank you for giving me that opportunity well thank you and thank you for sharing that story and uh, matter of fact speaking of the spirit kind I flipped over I'm busy trying to keep my stuff together and I got a message <laughs> from Jean Bingen your friend Jean Bing and, and her oh. family they send you a, a you Aww. know congrats tonight it's Margie Jean and the girls Kimberly Grace and Jalen yes they're, say they're, hi they're dear people hi Jean and, and girls they they were in Pigeon Forge when I uh, went up there to receive the NA MACMA award uh, it was N-A-M-A-C-A I can never get the initials right but it it was North North American Country Music Association. I, I received uh, and was inducted into that Hall of Fame. Yes. And uh, they were there, and they were it came up to get an autograph, and I, they were just precious. And, and we connected on Facebook. Facebook is incredible to get you with the people that that you need to be with, and those that you don't, you just kind of shove them away, you know. Oh, I, but hey, Jen and girls, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, so you have they're lots of people. Free. Lots of people tonight. Dave Wilson is checking you out. Billy Mason, they're listening. Connie Laurie Matz is also listening. Um, oh. So all those people are at the moment uh, sending you blessings uh, tonight. Oh. So I just want to let How you know. And, and, I, and I love your How talk about you? Facebook. You know, Facebook gets all, but I always, if you don't want to share anything with your mom, you want your mother to see your grandma, do not post it on Facebook. I used to say it a long time ago. People don't. don't. They they, they think they're, you know, whatever. I I mean, I've had my moments of politics, but honestly, there's nothing I've ever posted that isn't besides, you know, really. I mean, it's just because people think they can do it, do it. What does that mean? No control. That's a whole nother show. But you know, mm-hmm. but yeah, but we talked right. about that for Wednesday. It, it's I very, get hacked all the time. Let me tell you, why do these people answer me? If you know anybody out there, why the people that are already friends with you, somebody pick their name out of out of the blue and send you a friend request using your already friend Facebook friend's name. They'll send it on Messenger. They'll say, hey, Margie. And when they do that, I know that something's up. So I go to my friend on Facebook, and I say, did you send me a message? No, I didn't. So there she's been hacked. Yeah. What what did they get out of that? I know. It's also the devil's den, too, because they have something called Mm -hmm. the dark net. Can you admit? I mean, I just know. But there's something. There's another layer of this. It is. That's where our credit cards and stuff are. Can you imagine going oh. and trying to look at that or or put any kind of negative thing? Oh. It's like, God, I'm I telling can't. you. I, 
You can search my name. You don't put in NaughtyNaughty.com because if you do, you're going to get... Anyways, why? You're going to get (laughs) NaughtyNaughty.com. That's funny. But but you're right about Facebook and Connect Us and, you know, us and our, you know, together. And I just, you know, really this show's now been about a year and I got... Oh, well, I don't know, seventeen thousand listeners and some I don't know, sixty, I'm seventy thousand plays over this thing and just I'm just so overwhelmed that I got to meet you and that that we actually I think we're pretty good buds, aren't we? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And then and, uh, you know, because you know everything goes. I'm, I'm it, grateful it, that you asked me that. And you talk about nervous. Yeah, I remember everything goes into phases. I used to do these things in college, but, you know, back in October, Michael Stouffer asked me to do 11 interviews in two weeks, you know, or threw it all the names out, all you guys. And I went, okay. I was looking at teaching at that day when I got the email. I'm like, I'll do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll do it. And I used to have letters, I mean, notes with you guys. You know, it's just how I work. And now I just, <laughs> you can tell I improv, but I do. Just add letters. I do now. I mean, because I didn't really, I didn't know music, and I didn't really know how to approach it. Or I know music, but not the artist, and but that's how it all yeah. goes. And the minute I get something oh, well, new, I reach out. You were out. just a novice too. Yeah. At these interviews, well, yeah. Yeah. well, you do a great job. And you know, I found out at first I did the same thing, tried to make notes. Now let me see, what am I going to talk about? You know, <laughs> what do I don't talk about? I do not do that anymore. I just let it. You know, I let my stupidity flow if it wants to, but I'm hoping it don't. <laughs> well, I'll make some big ones. I'm not quite, you know, what I'm getting at where I am and what I need to do. Just some reminders and stuff. It depends on who's paying me or what the level is. I guess should I say when it's just on my own, I, I do whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah. super. Well, thanks, Margie, it's for chatting tonight. What a what a great time, and we're gonna have to do this many more days. Okay. Well, you just call me and let me know when you get lonely and need need a, a shoulder to to lean on. Just call Margie and say, "Let's talk." <laughs> we'll set it up. We'll, we'll do it. We all have to do a weekly monthly thing with Margie or something like that. So, the, hey, you know that's the fun. I gave of these, you an idea. That's how I these things you happen. Great, that's how I these gave things you happen. a great idea the other day. I mean, I gave you a great idea a little bit ago, didn't I? Mm-hmm. What was that? I told you it would be great to do, but do go on YouTube. That's right, and and do right. a marathon March day. I can do, well. You know these shows actually that we're listening to right now goes on YouTube too. These all these things. This oh, great. Great, The speaker that I go goes to everything. So you're going to be on iHeartRadio, every major app, Castbox. You have to find the oh. show, but I'm on there. So. Well, let me talk to you. There may be some of that we need to be cut out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll look at the beginning <laughs> when I was dying. It's all good. I'm kidding. I, what I said was absolutely every bit of it was true, and and uh, I oh, don't. Yeah. I'm not. Oh, yeah. I'm where I am, and if they, they can kill me, but they can't eat me. No, this is honest you know? radio on here. This is no egos like oh, I know what I mean. Whatever, Ab- it happens. It's absolutely. what you do. The ones that are trying to do. I'm sorry, I can't. You know, we're all people. But all right. Thank you, Margie. Let's. I'm going to say good night right now, and I'm going to just carry on Thank and play you. Heaven and Hell for everybody. And I'll heaven end this segment. Hell. I'll end this segment. It's heaven now. or hell. Heaven or, or hell. That's very, that's very important. Heaven or hell. And you'll know why I wouldn't hear it. It has you to know. be. That's Thank you my, so much. Thank you, Margie. All that's because right. my band of the Who has Heaven and Hell. So this one is going to be Heaven. I'll put that or in there. I'll put that, I'll change that conjunction for you. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you and give your mom my love and, and I love the listeners and I, I hope that they love the song and we'll share, share, share. I'm not out to make a penny on this song. I want every sinner in the world to hear it and maybe it'll bring someone to the Lord. That's the mission of this song for my pastor, for my videographer, from the people that helped me do it, my little guitar player, Kyle Canote, he he was the doctor. You, you just have to wait and see the video. And my adopted daughter, uh, Christina June, and just uh, a little guy here called Hollywood Howie. Some of you might know him on Facebook. He played the derelict, the prisoner, in the song. They'll understand it better when they hear the song. 
but we've got the video coming out and we've got the, the CD coming out and, and I pray that all of